Hey, how you doing? This is Martin, owner and trainer of Fuller Fitness. And this video is for pretty much anybody who is, you know what, I want to say specifically vegan. So if you're not vegan, possibility you might leave it alone. But at the same time, even if you're not vegan, this might help more than some of us may have thought. Because I never really paid attention to the facts in terms of how much protein certain products have so the interesting thing about me being vegan um again and this this isn't just for vegans but mostly for vegans so if you're not vegan i think you might get some uh, benefit in this also because uh I, when i went grocery shopping recently I, as a vegan i have to look at all of the uh ingredients in terms of what the uh what they have in the product to make sure it's vegan otherwise i don't eat it or drink it depending on what it is regardless of what it is i should say and when i looked at the bread to make sure it wasn't anything in there you know um i know that might sound seem weird for certain people hearing that and watching the video but again just as a vegan you have to make sure and i'm, I'm looking at the, the bread that i bought when i went grocery shopping recently um and I was, I'm not sure what word to use other than shocked than to find out how much protein was in the bread that I chose. It wasn't a lot, but it was more than I thought it would be. So I got some bread yesterday and I, you know, when I looked at it, I noticed that it's, it's uh, four grams of protein in there. And if I'm not mistaken, um... I noticed that on the way into uh, my apartment and I don't know why I didn't notice that before. Um, oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did notice it when I grabbed it and just said something to my brother as we were coming into the uh, our apartment. And, you know, the one, the fact that it had uh, protein and then two, the fact that it has four grams of protein. Now, the interesting thing about that for some of us is usually when I have sandwiches there's a, a strong possibility i'm gonna have anywhere between two and four sandwiches so <laughs> so depending depending on what it is so now again for if you do the math if you have a sandwich so if again i'll, I'll check into it to make sure because i'm not a nutritionist uh just just a trainer with help to help a workout so i don't really do uh nutrition i, I thought about going to college for that and doing certain things for that but I, I believed even back in 2004 which was my freshman year in college um that people wouldn't pay attention to the nutrition so a lot of people feel that they can just work out and you know get a body that looks a certain way and that works when you're younger a lot more than it does when you're in your late 30s and older like i am um with me going on 39 and uh 11 days depending on when you see this video uh but for for there to be uh four grams of protein in, in the bread so again um if i'm if i'm thinking about it correctly for you to have two pieces of bread that should be eight grams of protein if i'm not mistaken and then if you eat the way that i do or anywhere close to it to where you usually have at least two sandwiches maybe four sandwiches depending on what you're eating and how much you're eating possibly overeating but uh how much you're eating if you have two sandwiches that's 16 grams of protein if you're if you have two sandwiches and that's just with the bread so then once you put whatever uh plant plant-based meats that you're eating and, for, and then even more so for those who aren't eating uh, meat that's uh, plant-based, uh, to the amount of protein that you're in. So now if you have the bread that has a certain amount of protein, and then you use whatever uh, meat that you're using with it, um, man, that's, let me see. So, I mean, with depending on what you're using and how much protein you put in as far as the meat, um again for those of us that are vegan you put the the plant-based meats in whatever vegetables you put in there the vegetables don't have a lot of protein but if you put a certain number of vegetables in there um you you get a certain amount of protein uh and to a certain degree protein is overrated so i'm not saying 
you're going to get 80 grams of protein per sandwich or whatever. So, but it's just the fact that I didn't, you know, when you look at certain things, especially vegan uh, protein, usually there, it seems like there's not a lot of protein in it, especially in vegetables. So to look at the bread and I saw that there's four grams of protein. And again, if, if, if I'm, I'm wrong, I apologize and I'll try to fix it in a future video. But if it's four grams of protein per slice of bread and you have at least two sandwiches and then you have your deli meat and your vegetables and whatever else you put in there that has a certain amount of protein in. Uh, what, what I'm guessing, depending on what you're eating, there's might be at least 30 to 40 grams of protein per sandwich, uh, depending on what, what you put in your sandwich. So again, for those who, uh, are, uh, also curious about getting a certain amount of protein in their, their sandwiches and their protein shakes and stuff like that, specifically when it comes to sandwiches or your toast or, you know, certain things that you're eating. Um, the fact that there's four grams of protein, uh, in the bread, uh, let me see. And then, just to, uh, live in where I live, uh, I go to some, uh, grocery store called, uh, Wegman. So I'm not sure how many Wegman stores there are around the world, but I went to Wegmans and got white bread. And from what I looked at, for at least for those of us that are vegan, plant-based, or whatever variation of what we're doing. So it's 150 calories, 4 grams of protein. I'm fine with the carbs. Uh, it says 28 grams of carbs. But again, the, the uh, 4 grams of protein. So as far as the serving size, it's 2... Okay. So that, that makes more sense, kind of. So, okay, so it won't be as much protein as I thought, but still, just the fact that there's a four grams of protein um, in the bread, which I wouldn't have thought that there was uh, that much in there. Not saying that's a lot, but usually if it would have said one or two grams of protein, so it's four grams of protein uh, for the sandwich, not per slice, uh, which, again, I think that's still good. So again, I usually have at least two sandwiches, so that's eight grams of protein. And then once I put my plant-based uh, meats in there and vegetables, uh, that uh, for those of us that are vegan, plant-based, or any of those, um, I, it should still be if you know, if I'm not mistaken, and I'll try to correct it in future videos if I have to. Uh, I think uh, for me, it'll probably be at least 34 grams of protein per sandwich. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I'll check to make sure and let you know in future videos. But to make sure this video isn't too long, uh, I think I'm probably getting at least 32, 30, 30, anywhere between 32 and 36 grams of protein per sandwich uh, with the stuff that I put in there. And that's not saying I'm putting a bunch of stuff in there, but with the vegetables, the plant based meat. Uh, vegetables, the bread. So I, you know, apparently I've been getting uh, more protein than I thought, because <laughs> I don't remember paying attention to how much protein was in the bread until recently. Uh, because I was thinking about getting different bread to make sure there was a certain amount of protein in, and you know, I didn't get it because I wasn't sure if I had to keep it in a freezer or the refrigerator. The bread I was thinking of getting, I think it was Ezekiel bread. Uh, so I just got the regular uh, store brand white bread and it just so happened that there's four grams of protein in it. So, you know, um, do a better job of paying attention uh, to what whether you're vegan or not, uh, to what what's in your stuff, whether it's carbs, protein. Um, carbs, protein, fats, um and then there's if there's anything else in there that you don't need or whatever the case may be or allergic to. So, again, depending on your situation, it's likely some of you are already paying attention to it. Um, but again, just, you know, just uh, for, depending on what you're doing now, just do a better job of paying attention to some of the, some of the stuff that you're, all of the stuff that you're eating. 
to the best of your ability, eating and drinking, um, especially as you get older. I think a lot of us are likely to pay attention to certain things more. So, yeah, that's just uh, somewhat of a surprise to me. Uh, again, it's only four grams, but again, I didn't know. I thought it would have been one, maybe two um, per sandwich, but comes to find out it's four. So, again, you got the four grams of protein per pair of uh, bread uh, sandwich, um, and then and that's on top of the st everything else you put in there. Um, so, you know, again, some people, I've, I've said it in previous videos, uh, but some people are getting more protein than they actually, I believe they actually need. Uh, there's a belief that people have had for decades, so it's not new. Uh, people thinking that they need one gram of protein per body weight. I don't believe that. And I believe the people that are trying to do things that actually make sense compared to what seems to be popular or people seem to be talking about more. You don't need to go one gram of protein uh, per body weight, in my opinion. Your body doesn't necessarily need that. And if you are eating and drinking more than your body needs, you just end up going to the bathroom. Whether you go to the bathroom to pee, you go to the bathroom to take a dump, whatever it is, uh, if your body doesn't need it, it gets rid of it. So with all these people thinking that they need um, two, you know, 300 grams of protein or, or more, um, almost regardless of what they weigh, just to get a certain amount of muscle strength or whatever it is. There's a lot of us that don't believe that's the case. And for me to be older and stronger than a lot of you, um, should say a lot. And the fact that I've been vegan for over three years and, and as a vegan, I'm even stronger, older and stronger now than I was. So, um, go by facts, not by popularity, uh, with what you're eating, um, uh, also, and you'll hear me say it in a lot of my videos, likely hear me say it in a lot of my videos, is that certain things work for certain people. So, whatever works for you, do that. If it's actually working for you, do that. But again, just to share a little bit more than what some of us may have known in terms of what and how much. So, again, with the bread that I just got and been eating for most of my life if not almost all of my life, is that there are four grams of protein and I didn't know it was that much in there. I thought it was less. So, uh, yeah, just pay attention more to what you're eating. Um, don't try to rush with what you're doing, uh, depending on what your lifestyle is and what you're trying to do, how much you're trying to do. Try to make it to where you actually take time to pay attention to what's going on, learn what's going on, try to figure out what needs to be done different. If not, if if to not do it at all um man and just do do it do a better job with certain things depending on what you got going on now what what you're eating now how much you're eating now and how it works for your body depending on how active you are or not so there's a lot of reasons many reasons for you to make certain decisions and hopefully almost regardless how young or old you might be at this time you make the best decisions. This is Marton, owner, trainer, fuller fitness. Take care.